Tesla is now pushing the industry to a breaking point. The new carbon-wrapped motor is expected to boost efficiency to 94 to 97 percent, up from the typical 90 to 92 percent, push the rotor beyond 20,000 RPM, a 10 to 20 percent jump over conventional designs, and cut long-term maintenance costs throughout an 8 to 12 year life cycle. If a motor can run cooler, stronger, and longer while making the Model 2 more affordable, possibly near the $19,999 mark, are we about to witness Tesla's biggest turning point in the EV war? But here's what really matters. Will this make the car cheaper to own, year after year? Will it last longer without costly repairs? And most importantly, is this the moment Tesla finally makes EV ownership simple and affordable for regular drivers? We'll break it all down in today's video. You're watching Auto Gear Shift. If you want analysis that respects your time and your intelligence, you're in the right place. Before we dive in, hit subscribe and ring the bell so we can push this channel past 12,789 subscribers. That way you won't just watch the EV revolution, you'll stay ahead of it. Now let's get started. Why is Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor shocking the entire industry? Most EV buyers, especially men over 50 who have driven gas cars their whole life, share the same three fears. Rising repair bills, parts that don't last, and machines that break the moment warranty expires. With today's EV motors, those fears are not imaginary. Heat, rotor expansion, and bearing wear gradually erode performance, causing efficiency loss of 7 to 12 percent after just 100,000 to 150,000 miles, eventually leading to repairs that can run between $3,000 and $8,000. That's why a big chunk of the market, nearly 68 percent of undecided buyers in the U.S., still believes EVs might cost more to own over time even if electricity is cheaper than gasoline. Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor directly attacks that fear by changing the physics inside the rotor. In a standard steel rotor spinning at 17,000 to 18,000 RPM, centrifugal force can exceed 20,000 to 30,000 Gs, enough to stretch metal by microns at first, then millimeters over years of stress. That tiny deformation causes vibration, heat soak, and magnet misalignment, which wastes power and accelerates wear. Carbon fiber changes the equation because it has two to three times the tensile strength of steel while weighing about 60% less, allowing Tesla to clamp the rotor so tightly that it stays perfectly cylindrical even past 20,000 RPM. At those speeds, centrifugal force can surpass 40,000 Gs, yet the rotor remains stable something steel housing simply cannot achieve without cracking, warping, or losing efficiency. That mechanical stability produces a measurable payoff. Instead of bleeding energy through heat and internal friction, the carbon sleeve helps cut thermal loss by 10 to 15 percent, pushing drivetrain efficiency from the typical 90 to 92 percent up into the 94 to 97 percent range. Less heat also means bearings, windings, and insulation don't get cooked over time, extending usable motor life toward 800,000 to 1 million miles, far beyond the lifespan of most combustion engines that often require major overhauls around 150,000 to 250,000 miles. For a household trying to stretch a car for 8 to 12 years of commuting, this difference isn't tech hype. It's fewer shop visits, fewer silent failures, and fewer weekends ruined by breakdowns. Something every older driver understands too well. And because the rotor mass can drop by 8 to 12 percent, the motor spins up faster and runs cooler during highway climbs, trailer towing, or summer heat. Situations that normally expose an EV's weak points. In practical terms, that means more miles per kilowatt hour, more stable performance in year 10 than most EVs have in year 3, and less money burned just to keep the car alive. Tesla isn't just adding power, it's removing failure points. While legacy automakers are still patching problems with bigger batteries, Tesla is engineering out the losses at the source. And that is why the industry is stunned. 
Tesla is squeezing more range, more durability, and more usable value out of every watt, widening a gap competitors may not be able to close. How will this carbon-wrapped motor hit your wallet over 10 to 12 years of ownership? When buyers over 50 look at an EV, they don't ask the same questions as a 25-year-old. They don't care about drifting, ludicrous launches, or TikTok trends. They care about bills. Electricity bills, repair bills, unexpected breakdown bills. And over 10 to 12 years, those bills add up fast. Today, an average EV owner in the U.S. spends roughly $650 to $1,200 a year on electricity or $6,500 to $12,000 over a decade, depending on mileage. By squeezing more miles out of every kilowatt hour, Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor can shave off $50 to $120 per year, simply by reducing drivetrain losses that would otherwise be burned off as heat. It may not sound dramatic in a single year, but when gas cars routinely consume $1,800 to $2,400 in fuel annually, or $18,000 to $24,000 in 10 years, the long-term savings gap becomes impossible to ignore. The maintenance math tilts even harder in Tesla's favor. A gasoline engine and transmission can cost $4,000 to $8,000 in major repairs over 150,000 to 200,000 miles. By contrast, Tesla is pushing its drive units toward 800,000 to 1 million miles of usable life thanks to lower rotor stress and cooler motor temperatures. That alone eliminates the nightmare scenarios older owners fear most. Surprise $2,000 shop visits, weekends ruined by breakdowns, and the feeling that the car gets tired before they do. And this is where the story connects directly to the next generation of Tesla batteries. While the 4680 pack is still the backbone of Tesla's cost strategy, the company is already preparing for aluminum ion and sodium ion cells in the lower cost segment. Aluminum ion promises dramatically faster charging and longer cycle life, while sodium ion gives Tesla a cheaper chemistry for entry-level models, freeing the company from the price swings of lithium and nickel. When you combine a cheaper battery structure with a drive unit that costs hundreds of dollars less to manufacture, Suddenly, a $25,000 Model 2 isn't a fantasy, it's a financial blueprint. And because the motor is built to last longer than the pack itself, Tesla can still guard a double-digit margin in a price zone where Ford and GM are still losing thousands of dollars per EV. It comes down to one truth this audience understands better than anyone. People don't need a faster car. They need a car that doesn't fall apart, and doesn't empty their savings in year seven. By pairing a cooler, longer-lasting motor with cheaper batteries and lighter manufacturing, Tesla isn't just improving efficiency. It's rewriting the total cost of ownership from day one to day 4,000. How will this disrupt the industry? And what are the real barriers and timeline? If Tesla brings this carbon-wrapped motor to mass production, the impact on the industry could be brutal. For nearly a decade, Tesla has led motor efficiency rankings, often outperforming legacy OEMs by 2-4% to in drivetrain efficiency and by thousands of RPM in rotor speed. That margin may sound small on paper, but in an EV powertrain, a 3% efficiency lead can translate into several miles of extra range, smaller battery requirements, and hundreds of dollars saved per vehicle. If the upcoming Model 2 combines this motor with cheaper next-gen batteries and still reaches an under $20,000 price point, a full-blown EV price war becomes inevitable. And legacy automakers, who still rely on suppliers and aging platforms, are in the weakest position to fight it. The reason competitors can't simply copy the design is the same reason they couldn't catch Tesla in batteries. Manufacturing. Wrapping a rotor in carbon is easy in a lab, but extremely difficult to scale. Carbon fiber itself still costs several times more per kilogram than steel or aluminum, and the tension winding process must be controlled with extreme precision under thousands of PSI. A single defect at high RPM can shatter a rotor, so the tolerances are unforgiving. That means billions in retooling, years of R&D, and a vertically integrated supply chain 
the very thing Tesla already built while legacy OEMs spent the past decade protecting engine factories instead of reinventing them. Meanwhile, Tesla controls the stack from cell chemistry to inverter software, giving it a closed ecosystem that's nearly impossible for supplier-dependent automakers to replicate quickly. But there are real barriers and risks. Carbon fiber will only be cost-effective at scale, and if early production volumes are low, the motor could temporarily cost more, not less. On top of that, Tesla must prove durability across millions of vehicles and billions of road miles, not just sanitized lab data. And of course, there's the Elon factor. Even Tesla fans know Musk's timeline slip. So, while 2025 to 2026 is realistic, it is not guaranteed, and this technology becomes a true industry standard only when it survives mass production abuse, hot climates, cold climates, bad roads, and aging bearings over 8 to 12 years of ownership. Still, if Tesla clears those hurdles, this could be the iPhone moment of EV motors, a leap that forces the rest of the industry to react, not compete. At the end of the day, this breakthrough isn't really about carbon fiber or RPM numbers. It's about whether owning a car can finally become less stressful and less expensive over the long run. So I want to hear it directly from you. If a Tesla could save you money on repairs and energy every single year, would that be enough to make you switch? And be honest, what worries you more today? The price of the car, the cost of electricity, or the fear of a huge repair bill after the warranty expires? Share your thoughts below, especially if you've driven gas cars your whole life. Your experience matters in this conversation. If you found value in this breakdown, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss the next update here on Auto Gear Shift. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I'll